How to remove the drum on the Vermeer TR6450 trommel screen. Operate the trommel screen until all material has emptied from the feed hopper, hopper conveyor, drum, and all output conveyors. Press the auto screen button to automatically stop the drum and conveyors. Slide the hopper out of the drum using the key. Unlatch the door. Open the drum door fully using the key. Using the drum jog controls at the end of the drum door, rotate the drum to make a hole in the ring accessible to attach the screw pin shackles to the drum as shown. Follow the shutdown procedures to properly shut down the machine. Remove and retain the engine key, then press the engine disable switch. Attach the chain sling assembly with a swivel to the shackles and adjust the lengths of chain to maintain level lifting of the drum. Reset the engine disable switch. Follow the starting procedure to start the machine. Use the drum jog controls to rotate the chain sling to the top of the drum. Each push of the switch rotates the drum a short distance in either direction. Follow the shutdown procedures to properly shut down the machine. Remove and retain the engine key, then press the engine disable switch. Attach the chain sling swivel to a suitable lifting device. Ensure the suitable lifting device is rated for 8,500 pounds. After setting chain leg lengths, take up the slack in the lift chain assembly. Attach two 20 foot long tag lines, one on each end of the drum through holes in the front and rear drum rings. Assistants should stand on each side of the drum door and use the tag lines to help guide the drum out of the machine. Lift the drum enough to clear the front and rear trunnions before carefully moving the drum through the drum door opening. Set the drum on a level surface and block both sides to prevent rolling 